Hello, my name is Kemal Kuschu. I'm a psychiatrist and systemic psychotherapist. Uh, right now we are in Ethnograph. Ethnograph is an institute where we bring ethnography, systemic work and uh, design together. We run several workshops and training programs in our institute. Uh, as part of our activity, uh, Stephen Bray was with us uh, talking on his new book on psychoanalysis and photography. So, first of all, welcome back to Ethnograph, Stephen. Oh, it's nice to be here. Uh, so, uh, just to start, I mean, how do you relate with photograph? Or what is your own story about photography? Well, I've been taking photographs since I was about eight. And uh, the story goes back to my, my father, um, who had this strange box in his garage, in his workshop. And he would never let me look in it. And I became more and more curious about um, you know, what was inside and asked him lots and lots of questions. And the more he said he wouldn't, you know, we should be doing something else, the more curious I became. And then in the box, it turned out there were some chemicals and there was an old printing frame. And one day he gave in and there was this magic of, of seeing a, a picture coming up through the chemical um, on this old photographic paper and he became converted in a sense because then he bought some new chemicals and some new paper and we got an enlarger and we started to process our own black and white pictures at home. And what did it bring you back then? I mean after years, though this was when you were eight and now after a quite a, I mean after your career, now you have the book well, back to Photography and psychoanalysis, what did it bring you back to photography? Um, well, I've never really entirely left the world of photography. I mean, in Manchester, I used to belong to a, a publishing cooperative and we used to produce this uh, magazine. And I took quite a lot of pictures in those days of various different events and people like Bruce Kent, who was at the time the... Um, the president of the CND, and they went along with various uh, articles that I'd that I'd written for that magazine. So, and then later, when I moved to Dorset, I opened a um, private counselling practice back in my original hometown. And of course, I didn't have any clients; didn't have anybody to um, to pay the rent. So, I went to work for the local newspaper on the back of the work that I'd done for the publishing cooperative. So. Then I used to do car reviews and interviews and various things. So I've actually worked professionally within the photographic industry. I've done some fashion shoots and I've done some uh, yeah, cars and uh, products and, uh, you know, generally done quite a lot of work at different times. And I also study photography formally after I studied social work. Um, so, uh, in fact, last, was it three years ago, I did an exhibition with my old tutor. So, and he came to Marmaris and we put on a show called Trees and Sky, which is about trees and skies and keeping your head up and looking at the horizon. So, the, so I understand that you are, you, you're still actively part of photography. So you're, you're I mean, you are uh, actively taking photographs. Yeah, I take photographs most days. I, I still regard myself as a jobbing photographer, you know, rather than an artist. It came as a surprise when I put on the exhibition in Marmaris and suddenly Marmaris TV was saying, you know, this is this artist uh, who's got this collection of photographs coming. And I thought, well, I'd never really thought about myself as an artist. I always thought about myself as a photographer. Uh -huh. So it's, it was quite an interesting eye-opener to see how other people were regarding what I was doing. So uh, just going back when you just started your, I mean, for your first experience with photography mm -hmm. uh, when you were eight. Uh, so what's the common thing? Uh, what is the common theme since this, that time? I mean. What is the common uh, theme for you in photography since you are, I mean, uh, the time when you are eight? Two things have happened. I mean, I think photography has grown into something different from what it was originally. And I think as an individual, you grow as you mature as well. So when I started to take pictures, I would take a picture of a tree or a girl jumping over a hurdle or whatever happened to be there. And, you know, one hope 
press the shutter and hope for the best. Later on, in adolescent times, of course, there was the cachet of being a photographer. You know, you were somebody with a camera and a, and a big lens who could throw the background out of focus and make girls look beautiful.